100. It is actually here in Le Bouget and it is at the Musée de l'Air et de l'Espace, which is a museum of air and space in Le Bouget. So I think this was actually, this might have been called the Classic 747. So it's just here as a part of the exhibits here at the museum. And uh, I don't think normally there aren't this bunch of stuff around it, but um, because of the Pirates Air Show, that's why you've got all that. But there she is, 747. So let's go check out the 747-100. I've never flown a 100. I've done the 200, the 300, the SB, the 400, but never the 100. Woohoo! Bonjour, monsieur. So this is a golden age of flying. Uh -huh. Just amazing. <laughs> First class seats have come a long way. The nose of the Boeing. Uh, look at these stairs. Ooh. They're really steep. Oh. There's a fly in here. <laughs> So they didn't have any seats upstairs, it's a lounge. And the cockpit was through there. Very cool. The exit hatch. At five. I don't know about boss. It's a golden age of flying. And look at these stairs. See how steep those stairs are. That really crazy steep. Aboard a Boeing 747 128. So they had a cockpit, they had first class, which is where we're standing here. Then you had the lounge upstairs, and you've got gas in the wings and in the center, which is underneath where we're standing. Uh, then you've got business class and you've got the luggage in the back 
and they actually had more seats in the back so this particular uh, configuration had cargo in the middle and economy class behind that which is interesting right because normally the, the new ones just have the cargo in the back but back then and you can see when we go a little further back I'll look at the two compartments here when we go a little further back you'll be able to see um, this is the galley here galleys haven't changed much over the years right same old same old more galley not much have changed so this is a cabin where it's business class was here then you had three four three seats back here and look at the overhead bins the carry-ons that they have today wouldn't fit <laughs> you had your big projection screen tv um so flying today is quite different this gives you chance to see what downstairs looks like god this airplane is huge or is huge because they still fly them i can actually stand up under here but not much have changed right the windows are probably different but the cool part bathrooms are still the same then more bathrooms this is a cargo version where the nose opens up but this one so this is all three four three seats you can see back here but look at all the top of there Look at the big speakers they had in there. So this is stuff you never see because this is all under a thing at the, um, the top of the plane. But the cool stuff that's under here is cargo. So this is where they would load. You sit on top of the cargo. So all under here, this is all cargo. Um, and the landing gear when they fold up, it would fit inside there. So there's all this stuff you never see. You hear it, but you just don't see it all. And then there's cargo. And this was the one where they had the cargo in the middle downstairs. Um, and passengers back there. <laughs> Very cool. Um, Because all the cargo stuff goes all the way back. Mm. Typical French car. We're at the air show, so you can see all the cool stuff out there. And then back here, cheap, more cheap seats. One more galley back here. And then, this is all the cheap seats. Massive landing gear. 